The shortlisted societies are History Society for their Center for Queer History fourth annual lecture, Musical Theatre Society for their Raving Throw Window virtual open night open mic night during Welcome Week, Star Society for their series discussing race in the nonprofit sector. Gardening Society for their interactive online Welcome Back Week event, Pesto Making Workshop, and finally, the Debating Society for their Black History Month panel discussion on institutional racism within the education system. The winner of this award brought people together not only from the Goldsmiths community, but from communities all over the world, with over 250 attendees. They put on an amazing series with academics, guest speakers, and activists of colour who shared their experiences of racism, and they reflected as a group the importance of volunteering and providing services for asylum seekers and refugees. The winner for Best Society event is Goldsmiths Star Society discussing race is the non-profit sector, it, which reflected on and dismantled white saviorism and systemic racism within the humanitarian sector. So we'd like to invite Julia to speak from Star Society. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I just got in and I completely missed good. the beginning. Um, well, thank you for the award. Um, what am I supposed to say? Oh God, I'm getting really, I'm blushing. <laughs> anything you want. Is there anybody you'd like to thank or anything you'd like to say on behalf of the society? Well, um, I would like to thank the whole team, um, especially Ella, who's not part of the team anymore, but she was kind of the the beginning of that whole series and she brought it to life um then also our friends from bristol star who collaborated with us on that important series and obviously all all the amazing speakers everyone who came to the event and yeah everyone who supported star thank you <laughs> amazing well congratulations i hope you all enjoy the win Next up, uh, we're going to pass over to Tolu now. Thanks, Jack. Um, next up, we have the Sports Team Member of the Year Award. Um, we've been blown away by how amazing our club members have been this year. And honestly, you've all been a credit to Goldsmith Sports, so thank you all. The Sports Team Members shortlisted for this award are Cleo Kusama from Men's Football and Georgia Saunders from Mixed Hockey. The winner of this award has dedicated themselves to their team for the past three years, putting in 100% effort into every training and competition they're a part of. Although we have not had our normal university fixtures and competitions this year, so cannot boast about their on-pitch performances, our winner has worked tirelessly with their committee to put on physical training sessions for their team, as well as a variety of fun social events for the club, and doesn't hesitate to help newer members. The winner is... Georgia Saunders. Um, congratulations, Georgia. Would you like to say a few words if you're around? Okay, I'm not sure if Georgia's here. So congratulations, Georgia. And um, I'll move on to pass on to Galena. My deepest apologies, I was muted. <laughs> Similarly to sports clubs, where would societies be without their dedicated members and their commitment to student groups? We are always amazed by you every single year. This year, the members shortlisted for this award are Margaret Jennings from the Wildlife and Eco Haven Society, Bethany Howe from the DJ and EMX Society, Carly Pendleton from the History Society, Mamna Nazir from the Gardening Society, Anthony Giorgio from the Neuroscience Society. And the winner of this award has dedicated themselves to this brand new society this year, and they have been a driving and motivating force for this society. They have contributed to the flourishing social media pages, and they have been an absolute asset to this group. The winner is Anthony Giorgio from the Neuroscience Society. Congratulations, Anthony. 
Um, not sure if you're here tonight, I don't think you are, but we would like to wish you a sincere congratulations on your award. And I am now going to pass back to Jack. So your education officer is very proud of our DSCs and reps who are fighting the good fight in their department for a more accessible, liberated education system. They work in partnership with staff to act on student feedback, embodying the opposite of how government envisions students and pa as passive consumers. This year, there are two DSC awards and they go to students who have been proactive all year constantly engaging with the students in their department and being excellent leaders of their team. The winners are Amy Evans from Stax and Lucas Sotelo from Sociology. We'd like to invite either Amy and Luca up to the stage. Unfortunately, we can't get her in, so we are going to pass back over to Galena. Thanks so much, Jack. Um, we're going to move on to our next award now. We are having some problems with our um, studio backstage here, so we're not able to um, invite as many people in and out as we expected to be able to this evening due to some technical difficulties. I um, I apologize for that. I'm going to move forward to the next award. I would encourage you to, as this event is live streaming across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, I would really encourage you to pop a comment because um, we can display the comments here on the screen. So that is another way that we can kind of interact. So I would really, really appreciate if you are watching, just drop us a comment and we'll display it here on the screen. Um, we're going to move on now to our program record. Um, so this is an award um, for um, Program Rep of the Year 2021, and this celebrates the amazing, amazing work that program reps do in their individual courses across the university, and how important they are for the student voice at Goldsmiths. Um, this individual has worked well with department reps as part of a team, providing support for students and being proactive with their work. I'd like to say a Huge, huge congratulations to Chloe Francois from MA Politics, Development and the Global South. Congratulations, Chloe. Um, and as I say, if you just want to drop us a comment, we'll pop that up on the screen there for you. Maybe just tell us how you're feeling um, about your award tonight and maybe uh, thank your, your department or your program um, for all their support, if you like. Um, and we're going to move forward to our next award now. Um, that is the um, Part-Time Officer Project Award 2021. Um, Part-Time Officers are the elected representatives of the student body. There are 26 in total, taking leadership roles across liberation posts, student communities, campaign specific projects and operational posts. There's been some wonderful and impactful work from this year's cohort of part-time officers and three in particular have made it onto our shortlist for out their outstanding work. So we've got the women's part-time officers, Alex Murray Reynolds and Coco Brown for their work and catalogue of events for the International Women's History Month. We've got our disabled students part-time officer, Bella, Bella Alexandrova for their work that's insightful and educational content produced for the Mental Health Awareness Week. And our BME students officer, Jade Lindo for their contribution to the Gara Fund panel work and the Racial Justice Strategy Board. The award for the Part-Time Officer Project for 2021 goes to two people who we saw work so hard to deliver a number of creative, educational and insightful events. They have been a pleasure to work with throughout the year and they are always coming forward with new and innovative ideas. Congratulations to our women's officers, Alex Murray Reynolds and Coco Brown. Uh, and if they're in tonight, I would like to invite them up to speak. Um, I think Alexandra is here, but her device is not connected, unfortunately, so I will not be able to invite her up this evening. Uh, again, if you want to drop us a comment, we will absolutely um, display that as this comment here. So Coco says, congratulations to all those who've been nominated and to all those who are being awarded. Coco, we say congratulations to you on your award. <laughs> you are very, very welcome. Um, we really appreciate the work that you and Alex have done for us this year. Um, I'm gonna uh, move back. I'm going to hand now back to your host, Jack. 
And I'd now love to actually invite Luca, our society's part-time officer, to give a short speech on his thoughts of the year we've had. So, hello, Luca. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep, you're all good. Take your life. Thank you to invite me. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we'll be short because uh, I think there's a lot of uh, uh, events going on today. Um, yeah, I would like to thank you all, the, the team of Photography Society, and but we're going to have other <clears throat> uh, next for the um, nomination we got for uh, the best society of the year, but we probably have going to, to talk about later about that. And so, yeah, I was just um, want to be um, say on the participation of, of all the people during this amazing year. It's been tough for everyone. So we got the team made by Bella Alexandrova, Lucy Mood, and uh, Emily Bianconi, and we participate with the Poetry Society with Delia and. Uh, we got other participants during the year, was Barbara Tramontano, Joseph Lockley. And I would like to thank you all the people that I passed during the previous year as well. So uh, the list is long, so I want to make very short. Uh, um, Valentina Gonzo last year, she made the Auto Place exhibition. And then we got all the people from the photo walk. And, uh, and also, yeah, I want just to say that is, uh, it's kind of incredible how um, from zero we, we create something from nothing. So we believe the, the Zine project for the, um, sorry, there's like a lag on, on the computer, I think. Okay, I think is everything is fine here. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that the Zine we are making as a final project for, this, for uh, the Photography Society is making this project to connect people. So we think uh, that was really important uh, uh, make make possible to make people working together in uh, this distance moment uh, between screens. Uh, so we are really proud of what we are doing. So we include other society as the poetry society, and we got other uh, amazing people around us. So I also want to thank about all the team at the, at the society um, and the student union. Sorry, the Claire Pelan, Sarah. As it has Michela, Sarah Baffo, Galina, and all the PTO officers that helped me through this amazing year. So I really like somebody else to, to, to enjoy the conversation and say something uh, on, the, on the whole project that has been done. So it's not just about the awards, uh, it's also about how important we connect each other. So Thank you so much. I think I talked too much, and, and I hope uh, other people will have, have, have the chance uh, also to say what he has, he, has, he has been done, because it's not just about our societies. All, all people around the student union have, have been amazing, amazing job during the, the, the whole year. So thank you so much for now. Um, yeah, thank you again. Hi. Thank you for an amazing speech there, Luca. Um, so we are going to take a quick little break. So in the meantime, make sure to grab a drink, grab some food, and we shall see you back in a few minutes.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the 2021 Goldsmith Student Union Awards. Uh, we are going to jump straight back into things, so I'm going to pass you over to Claire to present the next award. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank you all for bearing with us with these tough technical difficulties. Um, it's just the nature of online stuff now. But yeah, without further ado, we're moving on to our society leader of the year. Societies are nothing without the special individuals who com commit their time to ensuring their groups are run smoothly. It is when many people come together that great things happen. And this award has been created to celebrate those individuals. So the shortlist for this award are George Hacken Benson from the Debating Society, Emanuela Fadir from the Musical Theatre Society, Macdad Annam from the Islamic Society, Holly Cooper from the History Society, Carolina Olaf Dota from the Creative Writing Society, and Charlotte Weston from the Marxist Society. It was so hard to choose this one person for this award, but the winner of this award has headed great initiatives for online activities and has led their society during such a difficult period with positivity and professionalism. They have been one of the core leaders for the society's events, most notably Charity Week, Discover Islam, and supporting and creating events during Ramadan. So the winner is Mcdad Annam from Goldsmiths Islamic Society. Well done, Mcdad. Um, well um, you were. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, it's uh, very nice to to this award and be appreciated. Um, to be fair, much of what we do is actually dependent on our relationship with God. All of it is sort of for that, but it's nice to be appreciated. Uh, I think I have to mention obviously my team, my my community. They uh, they a big part in obviously uh, all the activities and events that we did and also specifically SU, everyone from SU and specifically Claire as well, she's been very supportive of us throughout the year, very communicative. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, it's very nice. Thank you. Thank you, McDad. And now I pass on to Tolu. Thank you, Claire. Um, okay, so the next award of the night is for the Sports Leader of the Year. Sports club leaders aren't just there to ensure that the games are booked and go ahead. They motivate their teams, they help coordinate training sessions, they work weekly with SU staff, they are there leading victories and are often a person to lean on when you're feeling down. In this category, we had many nominations and it's amazing to know we have so many dedicated sports leaders proving how much they are valued by their teams. The shortlisted sports leaders are Jamie Hildick Smith from Bouldering, Elena Nikolova from Cheerleading, Anne Sophie Richard from Cheerleading, Darcy Rafter from Netball, and Alice Perkins from Netball. It was very difficult to decide just one winner from the nominations for this award. However, the individual that has gone above and beyond for their team this year, working hard to gain new members, maintaining consistent weekly fixtures sorry, week, weekly fitness and training sessions, even getting a professional instructor to help give their members an enhanced experience to their routine. They held inclusive socials to keep members' spirits up throughout the year. And with the loss of their club sponsorship this year, they organized the GoFundMe page to help raise additional funds for their clubs, which has allowed each member to purchase uniforms, which is an integral element to this team and a lasting piece of memorabilia to their time at Goldsmiths. So the winner of this award is Elena Nikolova from Cheerleading. Congratulations, Elena. Would you like to say a few words? Hi. Hiya. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. It's lovely uh, that all the work that we tried to do with the committee has been appreciated. I think it was a really hard year for all the sports, all the team leaders, and I think the whole committee tried to do our best to keep a compact team and to support each other in this really hard time. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's like that. No worries, you love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, take care. All right, um, Jack, on, over to you. Thank you, Tolu, and congratulations to Elena. 
Before we carry on, uh, we are just going to bring you a quick video from Nikella. Hi, this is Nikila, the Campaigns and Activities Officer. I just want to congratulate all our winners tonight and congratulate everybody that's been nominated. All of you have been incredible this year. It's been very difficult, but you've managed to put together all these fantastic events and social media posts. And we're just all in awe of you at the SU. And we want you to know how proud of you we are. Um, there have been numerous injustices against students. It's been difficult to do the basic thing that you want to do when you go to university, which is learn. And you've managed to not only do that, but put together these incredible extracurricular events and even managed to raise money for charity, some of you, during COVID and think of things other than yourselves, which is incredible. And you all deserve such a big congratulations. And I hope that this night just shows you just a little percentage of how much we value at the SU and are very proud of you. So have a wonderful night and thank you for coming. Some great words there from the Keela. I also noticed I said her name wrong, so sorry about that. So anyway, we are gonna move on. And this next award is all about what Goldsmiths prides itself on, which is being an inclusive, accepting environment, an accepting environment which welcomes students from all backgrounds. And a few years ago, we began the Justin Fashionu Awards in the spirit of this. Justin Fashionu was the first openly gay professional footballer. He was also the first black footballer to command a £1 million transfer fee. Since then, liberation in sports have come leaps and bounds, but there is still a long way to go. The Justin Fashionu Awards this year goes to a team that have actively, year, year on year, sought to ensure the values of inclusivity and accessibility to sport is championed for all members of their club. With news of this can cancellation of all university sports in January, the club got together and planned a collective marathon. They also looked outside the university setting and recognized the plight of families going through a hard time during the pandemic. Combined, combining the marathon with a fundraiser for Lewisham Food Bank, which was open not just to their club, but all clubs and societies at Goldsmiths. They collectively covered an amazing 419.72 kilometers and raised 378 pounds. This year's Justin Fashion Awards goes to women's football. I'd like to introduce that introduce the women's football rep on stage. However, it appears they are not here. So, in the meantime, I will pass you over to Galena to talk about the next award. Thanks so much, Jack. And yes, uh, no one could be here for the um, women's football team tonight. But if anybody wants to drop a comment in the um, uh, in the comment box, uh, I will I will bring that comment up on the screen for you. Um, we're moving on to a society award now. Um, this is the award for best new society. So this is for a society that started in this academic year or restarted after a period of uh, being dormant. Um, uh, the SU were amazed at how many new societies have been created this year. Um, it's, it's honestly amazing in such strange and testing times to see um, such great engagement. Uh, we're really, really impressed with all of you who have come out this year. Um, we've seen some outstanding things from our new groups. Um, so I'll take you through the shortlisted groups now. The shortlisted groups for this award are the Pole Dancing Society, the History Society, the a cappella society and the neuroscience society the winners of this award from the moment they kickstarted their society have wowed the su with their energy and enthusiasm as well as the committee's keenness to get the most out of the su training and funding opportunities despite the fact that they have never met each other in person before due to the pandemic they've put on some fantastic online events throughout the year including their center for queer history fourth annual lecture which had over 200 viewers and has been celebrated for its continued contribution to the historical understanding of queer history. 
Wow, as if they couldn't wow us anymore, they were then long listed for not one, but two awards at the National Societies and Volunteering Awards. Uh, firstly, for the Development Award, and secondly, for the Event Award. And they went on to place as runner up of the Development Award, which is a huge testimony to all their fantastic events and dedication over this year to get this society thriving. The winner of this award is the Goldsmiths History Society. Um, a special mention really should go to Holly Cooper, who has led the society tremendously this year. Um, congratulations, History Society. Congratulations, Holly. Wow, uh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, this is really nice for us all. I think all of us in the group chat are going a bit mad at the moment because <laughs> we're all just really like, it, I think we're just all amazed really. Like we haven't met each other, as you said, and we've managed to host like several different um, talks and we've done loads like loads of posts and infographics for LGBTQI uh, history month and women's history month and um yeah so I just wanted to thank my society my committee um I wanted to give a big shout out to my treasurer Rain, my events rep um, Alma, my social secretary Holly and my liberation rep Carly um and a big shout out to uh, all the academic support we have. So especially like um, Justin Bengry, who is the director of the Centre for Queer History, who comes to all our events and is just a massive support. And um, yeah, we're just really, really amazed. And we're really grateful for this award. And um, yeah, and if anyone's interested in like all the sort of work we're doing, please join us next year because it's going to be it's going to be mad. We're going to do it bigger and harder next year because we're going to be obviously on campus. So just just yeah keep an eye on us but thank you thank you congratulations Holly that is amazing we are elated for you and we've re been really impressed with your work this year I, I do think it's fantastic we really look forward to seeing what you're going to do next year um I have fun partying over that award honestly I, you deserve it um and we're going to move on now to um our next award which is going to be given by Claire thank you Galena okay so on the topic of new we have now got a brand new award called the Environmental and Sustainability Award, um, which was brought to the panel as a, as a suggestion by student leader, Margaret Jennings. So we have two groups that were shortlisted for this award. And by both of their nature, these groups are the epitome of environment and sustainability in different ways. So firstly, we have the Gardening Society who have really flourished this year despite setbacks due to the pandemic. They have sourced creative ways to keep their members involved by putting on events such as their pesto making workshop, incorporating the SU suicide prevention training into their social media feeds as well-being and environment go hand in hand. They've worked closely with the SU comms team on Instagram takeovers. Um, they've been creating bug hotels on campus and they've been working incredibly closely with the allotment staff team all year on campus. And special mention should be made to Hafsa Anwar and Mona Nasir for all their hard work and dedication this year. And secondly, we have the Wildlife and Eco Haven Society, who are a long-standing group first created in 2014. The Wildlife and Eco Haven this year alone has been incorporating well-being, nature and sustainability into their work, despite being online. They have been creating walking-based projects, tree story workshops, they have a new archive with the Goldsmiths library, library team and they have been invited to participate in Deptford X Fringe. Uh, they have committed to nature and the environment on campus by increasing wildlife and by planting trees on campus and beyond. They have worked with the Kew Gardens Woodland Trust and distributed the new tree charter to departments and the SU. Margaret Jennings in particular has worked incredibly hard to ensure that both the college and SU are held accountable for their actions towards the environment. She has built up a tree charter champion status with the Woodland Trust and also she has worked continually putting ideas forward for the new Green Deal. Margaret has set up campaigns for the One Acre of Rainforests and has been a finalist for the Green Gown Award three times representing Goldsmiths and once winning. So as you can imagine, the panel found this really difficult to award as these two groups, by their very nature, are very similar, but they're also very different with their goals. But this year, the panel have decided to award both the Wildlife Eco Haven Society 
and the Gardening Society for this award because we hope that this award in future years will encourage all student groups and campaigning groups to think about the environmental impacts when creating events or projects to help with the climate emergency that our society is currently facing. So if we have anyone from, I don't think we do, I don't think we have anyone from Gardening Society or Wildlife in Eco Haven, but I know that Margaret Jennings in particular would have loved to give a, a speech. Oh, I've seen one. Woo, go Gardening Society. Yes, go Gardening Society. Um, you are amazing. Um, both groups, honestly, you've been flourishing so much and it's so hard to do things um, that are to do with like nature and environmental impacts when you're working with the allotment team on campus as well and you've got grounds and you've got to put social distancing measures in place. So yeah, well done you. And I will move on to, I think it's Galina. Oh, God, it's Oh, I think I can hear myself on the YouTube stream. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say thank you for nominating us. This is our first year. So it feels great to win an award in your first year. And it is, it's just been so hard with the pandemic. And I'd like to thank all the staff as well. Yeah, and I really hope that we can hold more events in the future once this is over. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hafsa. You've done amazing work. Um, and now I shall move over. I don't think we've got Margaret in the chat. No. Now I'm going to pass over to Galena. Thanks so much, Claire. Um, we're going to move on now. I just want to take a brief pause to give a special mention to um, a group who um, have come about during the pandemic and I think deserve a little extra, a little extra mention. Um, we couldn't go through a whole awards night without giving a mention to this group, the Goldsmiths Residence Life, who have been working tirelessly to create wellbeing drop-ins, build academic resources online, create fantastic creative online events for students, and just generally for being there for students during a really difficult year. So this is a shout out to you, Gold Res Life team. You are amazing. Hello. <laughs> You're muted. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I got really, really surprised to see my face on there. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Yes, I'm um, one of three Gold Bears Life resident experience coordinators, and it's been a really tough year. Um, thank you for the shout out. It's it's really really lovely because I know a lot of students haven't heard of us, but we are here. Check us out, goldreslife.com forward slash events. We have events every Wednesday and every Thursday for all Goldsmith students. So please join us, they for you. And um, we can't wait to meet you guys. And thank you again for the shout out. Thanks so much, Chloe. You've done amazing work this year. We've been really, really pleased to see you guys thriving. I think it's been such a tough year for students, but I think you guys have really brought something so special in the community building work that you've been doing. It's been really great to see. Thank you. Thank you. That's really, really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to move on now. Um, I'm going to pass you back to our, our compare and host, Jack Corbett. Hello. So the is now time to present your media group of the year award. Uh, media groups on campus work hard all year round to keep the student body informed and entertained. And I know myself as being the station manager at Wired how tough this is. So I have a lot of respect to all these groups that are shortlisted, just getting the content out there. So the shortlisted groups are Echo Magazine, Smith Magazine, and the Leopard Newspaper. The winner of this award has successfully successfully published five visually brilliant awareness raising and important issues within the past year. And the team is currently working on issue number six, which will be published for Refugee Week UK 2021 in collaboration with the organization's Counterpoint Arts. The latest issue, issue five, entitled Healing, was the one which had the biggest outreach and featured the work of over 50 asylum seekers, refugees, migrants, volunteers, and activists who are based all over the world. 
They have been creating a community in which everyone is welcomed and people who in mainstream media go voiceless and are being unheard. The winner of this award goes to Echo Magazine Society. Congratulations. I'd just like to re uh, bring up to the stage a representative for the magazine. Hello, how are you doing? Hey there. Thank you so, so much. That's actually going to make me cry. Um, no, thank you all for your support. It's really, really important. Um, and I think, yeah, all our members, the contributors, everyone, um, that really means a lot to us. And I think it's important to spread the word and to give people the space to speak for themselves. Um, I think that's the main issue, the main mission that we've got with Echo and yeah, it's really nice to hear that this is seen by the SU. So thank you all. And thanks to, yeah, the readers, subscribers, contributors. Our next issue um, is going to be published on Monday. So yeah, stay tuned. And thanks so much. Make sure to be getting the next issue, everyone. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, congratulations once again. And we are now going to be moving on to the next award which is going to be given by Claire. Thank you, Jack. Um, so yeah, next on the subject of media, we have the award for media article issue or broadcast of the year. Um, so in a year where media has been so vital, it has been incredible to see groups utilize their online platforms. So without further ado, the shortlisted groups for this category are the Debating Society for Here's Why You Should Join the Debating Society, article the islamic society for discover islam series spotlight on the islamic society the islamic society for ramadan a month of change an interview with the islamic society and the echo magazine for their fifth issue called healing and the winner of this award is the islamic society for their article about ramadan the Islamic Society continues to wow us with how much effort they put into all their SU events projects and online content content. This article they put together with the SU comms team demonstrates how hard they have been working to allow people to gain a better insight into Ramadan for Muslims. Congratulations Goldsmiths Islamic Society. Do we have McDad with us? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Hello there. Um, once again, thank you very much. It's very, very nice. Um, thank you, Claire. Um, I had a very, very good interview with, um, with Molly um and uh, i think she learned in uh, i learned in, uh, as well um and it was not seeing the publication on the cosmos um blog i think it was so yeah thank you very much we really appreciate it um yes. yeah thank you well done islamic society i'm seeing some comments on our on our youtube yes they have smashed it and next up we have tolu oh it's clear Okay, so now we're on to the final sports award of the night, which is for the Sports Club of the Year. So although we have not been able to participate in our normal sports and activities and competitions this year, our clubs have still managed to put together a variety of virtual activities and events for their members and the local community, and also by participating in campaigns. So thank you to every single club for putting in the effort this year. You should all be very proud of yourselves. The shortlisted clubs, for this award are women's football, mixed hockey, cheerleading, and the yoga club. So the winner of this award has continued the level of engagement with their club activities, almost as if the pandemic didn't actually happen. Um, it's amazing to see and celebrate the sheer hard work, team efforts and enthusiasm being part of a sports club can have on students. And we would like to congratulate this year's club of the year to cheerleading. Um, so does any, is anyone from the cheerleading club around to come backstage and give an acceptance speech? Uh, no? Okay, well, congratulations again, cheerleading. Um, yeah, again, we've been very impressed by your um, activities this year. Oh, we've got someone here. Hi, everyone. So, thank you. That's really, um, oh, your audio is a bit. Um, 
Now or Uh, okay, I think she's left us. I oh, know she said, I oh, just wanted to say thanks. We've tried our best to make this year great, even with all the problems. Yes, you guys have definitely. Um, you've done amazing this year, everybody from Chilean Club. Um, so well done. Um, okay, I'll invite Claire next, for the next award. Thank you very much, Tolu. Okay, so this is the last Societies Award of the evening. There are over 50 societies at Goldsmiths that provide a space for bringing together like-minded people with the same interests, bringing together communities, creating fabulous events and activities for their members and making friends for life. So without further ado, the shortlisted societies for Society of the Year are the Musical Theatre Society, Debating Society, Drama Society, Gardening Society, Photography Society and the Islamic Society. And the winner of this award has worked incredibly hard this year, providing weekly and monthly online events and engagement with their members and always so showed such great organisation, professionalism and friendliness during such a difficult year. From the moment Welcome Week events were open to societies, this society were keen to lead the best event possible and entertained a group of 90 students with their Speaking with Confidence workshop. As well as doing Instagram takeovers and interviews with the SU comms team, this society hosted a whole range of events, such as institutional racism with the, within the education system, a panel discussion during Black History Month, Islamophobia in Britain, a conversation with Dr. Amu Hockey, MBE, in line with Islamophobia Awareness Month, Britain after Brexit, how we got here and where we go next, and should schools stay open during COVID, a panel discussion. So the winner of Society of the Year this year goes to Goldsmiths Debating Society, and a special mention should go to George Hacken Benson for leading the society with such ease and positivity throughout the year. Congratulations, Debating Society. Hi, George. Oh, hi, Claire. Thank you. Oh, there's such a sense of relief. Uh, we've all been sat here for the last hour watching all the I awards. I know, I'm so sorry. It's sorry. killing us, but it feels so good to, to win. Um, a huge, obviously, congratulations well to all, those, all the other societies that were nominated for this award. Um, I think this is, I think this award feels so special to win just because, as you've said, the standard is so high. Um, from all the other societies. In fact, a uh, quick shout out again to Holly and the History Society. We're very glad that they were in the other category and we didn't have to face them for this one. Uh, I'm not sure that we would have won, but no, the, every society this year has done amazing work. Um, I'm actually very glad as well that we won this award and not the uh, individual award that I was also nominated for, because I think at the end of the day, um, I've been incredibly lucky to have an amazing committee um, around me. We've had incredible people not only people who've who are staying on from last year but even members who've joined us this year um to take an active role in running the society um and a thank you not only to the committee but also to yourself claire and to the rest of the su who've been amazing and the comms team everyone has given us such great support um to be able to run the society this year um yeah i think that's all the thank you and one last shout out to our president tom from last year um who i had a very a very easy job of inheriting a great society that had been built um, from those who came before me. So thank you to everyone who's helped. Um, and thank you to the SU for giving us this award. It's genuinely an uh, incredibly humbling honor. Thank you, George. It's amazing. You've all been doing amazing work. Um, and the next award that we have up, oh, Galena. <laughs> <laughs> Galena is here to pre present this award. <laughs> so thank you, George. Yes, I am here to present our final award of this evening. Um, and that is the, um, it's the Social Change Award. Uh, this is a relatively new award that we introduced last year to recognize the work 
um, of our campaigning groups to make life better for students at Goldsmiths through community work, uh, mutual aid, uh, social change. Um, the Social Change Award, it recognizes students who've worked with the community in and around Goldsmiths to make change for the better. Uh, this includes achieving significant change in the Goldsmiths community and being a positive ambassador and role model for the union. The shortlisted groups for this award are Goldsmith Star Society, Goldsmiths Anti-Racist Action Group, Goldsmiths Rent Strike, New Cross Packages, and the Goldsmiths Amnesty International Society. The winners of this award have been dedicated and committed to their cause. They've shown defiance in the face of a lot of adversity, uh, and the students involved have become genuine friends and made a real sense of community and solidarity with other groups. Um, I can speak personally to the dedication of this group as I've watched across the year as they've just continued to be so dedicated to the work that they're doing um, and their displays of solidarity with other campaigning groups across the year as well. The winner of the Social Change Award goes to the Goldsmiths Rent Strike campaign. Their campaign is ongoing still. Uh, we stand in solidarity with you and congratulations to the Goldsmiths Rent Strike campaign group on your award. And I am now going to pass you back to our host and compare, Jack Corbett. And with that final award, that concludes the 2021 Students' Union Awards Night. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you again to every one of you that has helped this year be such a success. Please post any pictures you have from the year or on this night on your social media and tag us. It really brightens up our day and we love to see how you've celebrated. We hope that you're all safe and well and we shall see you soon and hopefully from the SU next year. Thanks so much, Jack, for being an absolutely incredible host this evening. You have made it such a breeze. It's honestly been amazing having you. And um, you, with all the technical difficulties we've had, with all the stumbling blocks across this evening, um, it's just been a dream to have you as a host. Um, I'd just like to quickly like to invite um, a student who didn't get to make a speech beforehand to um, come up and, and give a little speech. It's uh, Coco Brown, our, our women's part-time oh, officer. Hi, Coco. Um, it's just been oh. a dream to have you as a host. Oh, <laughs> just quickly, quickly like to invite um, a student who didn't get to make a speech beforehand to um, come up and, and give a little speech. It's uh, Coco. I think Coco, you might have the video playing in the background, so I'll just give you a second to get muted and booted, um, and then we can return back to this conversation. But yeah, I'll just continue to sing Jack's praises while we sit here. I think it's been an amazing night. Um, absolutely incredible. I'm going to add a couple of other staff members in here who can also join the conversation. I mean, lovely you star. Um, um, let's winners see how nominated. Let's see if Coco's ready. Oh. Hi, Coco. Hello. <laughs> can you see me? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what's going on at the moment. I can't see anything, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I just honestly, on just behalf of um, Alex and myself, I just want to thank the SU team um, just for all the help and getting everything together. Um, never imagined we would have achieved what we did, but we couldn't have done it without you. So we just want to say thank you so much. And, you know, and also congratulations to everyone, because I know everyone's been working so hard in the background. Um, yeah, I just, I salute you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Coco. It's been a pleasure to have you, and I'm glad that you got to come in and make a speech. If there's anybody else who wanted to make a speech who won tonight and they couldn't get in, please just uh, click through to the StreamYard link. We've got some space for you. We can come and welcome you up on stage. Uh, if not, we're going to bring this event to a close. Um, again, please share online, tweet us, uh, post on Instagram, send us your pictures. We really want to see. I know it's from home, but, you know, we still want to see you and your glad rags if you're in them. Um, and, yeah, just thank you so much to everyone um, for your amazing hard work this year. Um, we really appreciate it. <laughs> all right <laughs> have a great evening and um and we'll see you we'll see you <laughs>